and welcome back to my channel. It's Katie here and thank you for joining in. Today we are doing a science time, so it is we are experimenting with makeup in a whole new level. This video, as you can tell by the title, is going viral over YouTube. It is mixing all of your foundations together in one Frankenstein foundation. I originally saw this video a few months ago on Sophia Nygaz. I can't really pronounce her last name. I apologize. I'm not trying to be rude. I just can't pronounce it. Um, her channel, it has six point something million views on it and the foundation turned out so well. It's now become a trend where I've seen Laura Lee do it, uh, Manny MUA and a whole bunch of other YouTubers and their re like, results are so good that I'm looking at my foundations and I reckon if I mix them all together, I don't know because I don't have high coverage foundations like everyone else seems to. I always go for like a sheer or like a BB cream. So altogether, I think I'm having about 24 foundations, which is completely over the top. It is so excessive. I, I barely wear these foundations. I barely wear foundation full stop. So I don't really know why I have that many, but we're all gonna put it on a mixing bowl, create a Petri dish and put them on my face. So if you wanna see what the end result of my Frankenstein foundation is, just keep watching. surprisingly not that much for like 20 something foundations it came out to be like a lot less than I thought it was gonna be and they're actually pretty much all the same color because I don't use fake tan I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and we'll give that a good mixy mix by the way this is not like a pea dish it's a kidney dish I use it for my eyelash lifts it's not like a body part or like I don't pee on the dish okay it's sanitary hopefully it's all mixed up before I apply it, I'm going to prime because I'm trying to do what I usually do with my foundation. So I'll grab, <laughs> grab of course my Maybelline baby skin. I use this every single time I put makeup on. Okay, so I am primed, I am moisturized, and I have my little Petri dish and a foundation brush full of my Frankenstein foundation. So let's just go apply. Oh. Okay, well, the color looks pretty good. I didn't really think that was going to be too much of a fail, judging by what... Oh, okay. That's really weird, because one foundation that I definitely know smells is just completely taken over. It's the CoverGirl Clean foundation, it's the original one, and that's all I can smell. It smells like spices. Like, really weird curry spices. Which is okay if I was eating it, but I'm not. Um, so it's quite strong and I remember last time I did try that out and it burned my under eye area. So I'm kind of scared now. I'm not going to use a, boob a booty blender. I'm not going to use a beauty blender. I'm just going to use a flat top kabuki that's covered in cat fur. I'm just going to blend this in. Okay, one thing I am noticing is it's not blending very well it's sort of like usually this brush is pretty good it doesn't leave too many streaks on my face but i don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera but it's not really it's covering i'll give it that the coverage is looking pretty good right about now but um let me come back and i'll try and blend this mess out so the foundation is completely on my face now i'm just giving a little bit of time to set i might put another layer on depending on what i want but from first glance, all my hydrating foundations, even though I do have some matte formulas in there, have come to the surface. Like, I feel overly hydrated right like now, to the point where I'm like, mm, I look oily. 
Like I'm I'm like I'm I'm a dry girl. Like I need some balancing hydrating stuff in there. But right now I feel oily and it's something I haven't felt since I was like 15, which is weird. Um it's starting to settle in my smile lines, like everything does, um, under my eyes. Um there's some creasing going on my eyelids. I look funny, I have no eyebrows on, it's kind of doing my head in. I do like the colour. The colour to me is actually like a perfect, perfect match, like Look perfect actually. Another thing I noticed, even though I primed my pore area, it's sinking in. Like, I'll try and come up a little bit closer for you. But as you can see, um, I still have dark under eyes right now. It's settling into my fine lines there. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but uh, my pores. It's like the Grand Canyon there. The Grand Canyon on my face. So it's a bit there. It's really starting to crease, isn't it? Ooh. It's really starting to crease. What do you guys think? Do I do I look pretty full coverage by now? Like a uh, foundation on my teeth and my lips. Tastes like curry. But yeah, I don't think it's too bad. Oh wow, I'm having some major creasing around my nose. Oh, and um, okay, this foundation 100% needs setting. Um, I just left a fingerprint on my nose. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back for my final thoughts. Okay, we are finished with my makeup. I've gone for a rather dramatic makeup this evening. It's um, literally, after this video, I'm taking it off. Like, I'm going nowhere. And I don't know why, because really I'm just gonna take photos with it and then I'm gonna go to bed. The coverage is really nice right now. Um, I think it looks really well. Everything blended out on top of the foundation and the set foundation really perfectly. I am really loving this makeup right now. It's very dramatic, I love it. Um, I had no issues with it. So far, it hasn't oxidized. I don't know if you can tell on my neck area, but it has not oxidized, which is a big deal. Um, because some of those foundations over there do oxidize when they're by themselves, so they don't oxidize altogether. Bonus, right? So that's pretty much my summary. My cat's already in the background again. <sighs> yeah, she is. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all I have to do with it. I don't think I have as success rate as everyone else on YouTube with doing this experiment, but if you did like Science Lab or Katie in the Science Lab, please smash that subscribe button and that like button. Share this video if you're able to, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.